Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Ghost Hook. This week, researchers at CyberArk released details about a new vulnerability in Microsoft's patch guard that allows attackers to load uh, rootkits, kernel level rootkits, on 64 bit versions of Windows. So let me unpack that for you. First of all, if you haven't heard of a rootkit, it's basically a number of technologies or techniques that allow a bad guy to be more stealthy on your computer. By loading specialized software or kernel level drivers, bad guys can get low level access to the the Windows operating system and essentially lie to it or do the Jedi mind trick. There are user level rootkits that actually can lie to the basic Windows user level APIs, but a kernel level rootkit gets very deep into the, the low level part of the operating system and allows it effectively to lie to just about anything. That means when, say, a security software is looking for files to scan, it may not find a file that's really there. It could also mean that network security software software running on your host may not be able to see network activity, all because this kernel level rootkit has enough privilege that it can actually hide data that your operating system is looking for. Anyway, rootkits have existed for a long time, but way back uh, when Windows XP was first released, Microsoft released protection for 64-bit uh, operating systems that was called kernel patch protection, or is now called patch guard. And basically, these were OS level protections that made it hard for users, or technically it was supposed to be impossible for users, to actually patch the Windows kernel. And this, of course, would give the system some security protection, because then kernel-level drivers could not hook or patch your kernel. However, the researchers at CyberArk recently found a way to bypass that protection. Now, I won't bore you with all the technical details with how they did this. When you're talking kernel-level programming, it's pretty geeky developer stuff. If you're interested in some of the details, I recommend checking out CyberArk's blog post. But just know that there's a flaw in patch guard that is only there when you're using Intel chips that have something called Intel PT enabled. But if you have such a chip, attackers can exploit a flaw there to actually hook the kernel and thus load a kernel level rootkit. Now it's important to know this isn't actually a exploit or security vulnerability in the OS itself. In order to do this, a bad guy already has to have system level privileges on your Windows computer. They already have to have hacked your computer to do this. However, this does make it easier for them to hide on your computer. If they do succeed at another attack that gives them privileges, they can now use a kernel level rootkit on 64-bit uh, Windows operating systems to hide their actions on your computer, making it so much harder for security software to get rid of it. In any case, I thought Ghost took with some interesting new research. Again, if you want to see the details, check out CyberArk's post. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching.